Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Organization of Data. Question number 1. Underscore of the data refers to the arrangement of figures in such a form that comparison of the mass of similar data may be facilitated and further analysis may be possible. Option A. Collection. Option B. Analysis. Option C. Interpretation. Option D. Organization. The correct answer is Option D. Organization. The data information collected through different sources should be organized. The information arranged in an ascending order is known as the array of data. The set of information related to specific entity is called the field. Question number 2. It is the process of arranging things in groups or classes according to their resemblances. Option A. Classification. Option B. Collection. Option C. Interpretation. Option D. Analysis. The correct answer is. Option A. Classification. The process of arranging data into homogeneous group or classes according to some common characteristics present in the data is called classification. Question number 3. Continuous variable assumes underscore. Option A. A range of values. Option B. Increase in jumps. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is Option A. A range of values. If a variable can take on any value between its minimum value and its maximum value, it is called a continuous variable. Question number 4. Classification data based on the geographical differences of the data is Option A. Chronological. Option B. Quantitative. Option C. Spatial. Option D. Qualitative. The correct answer is Option C. Spatial. Spatial dependence is measured as the existence of statistical dependence in a collection of random variables, each of which is associated with a different geographical location. Question number 5. Chronological classification is Option A. Classification on the basis of quality. Option B. Classification on the basis quantity. Option C. Classification on the basis location. Option D. Classification on the basis of time. The correct answer is. Option D. Classification on the basis of time. When data are observed over a period of time the type of classification is known as chronological classification. Such type of classification helps to compare the data of different time periods. Question number 6. A characteristics or a phenomenon which is capable of being measured and changes its value over time is called Option A. Vector. Option B. Variable. Option C. Sample. Option D. None. The correct answer is Option B. Variable. Variables data is data that is acquired through measurements, such as length, time, diameter, strength, weight, temperature, density, thickness, pressure, and height. With variables data, you can decide the measurement's degree of accuracy. Question number 7. Which variable increase in jumps or in complete numbers? Option A. Continuous. Option B. Individual. Option C. Multiple. Option D. Discrete. The correct answer is. Option D. Discrete. Discrete variable over a particular range of real values is one for which, for any value in the range that the variable is permitted to take on, 
there is a positive minimum distance to the nearest other permissible value. The number of permitted values is either finite or countably infinite. Question number 8. Class limits means. Option A. A range of values which incorporates a set of items. Option B. Difference between upper or lower limits. Option C. Sum of upper or lower limits. Option D. Extreme values of a class are limits. The correct answer is Option D. Extreme values of a class are limits. Class limits have the same accuracy as the data values, the same number of decimal places as the data values. The lower class limit of a class is the smallest data value that can go into the class. The upper class limit of a class is the largest data value that can go into the class. Question number 9. Series of statistical data with one variable only is called. Option A. Discrete. Option B. Continuous. Option C. Individual series. Option D. None. The correct answer is. Option C. Individual series. A series of individual observations is a series in which items are listed individually. Question number 10. The number of times an item occur in the series is known as Option A. Variable. Option B. Class. Option C. Frequency. Option D. Series. The correct answer is Option C. Frequency. Frequency is the number of occurrences of a repeating event per unit time. It is also referred to as temporal frequency, which emphasizes the contrast to spatial frequency and angular frequency. Question number 11. A range of values which incorporates a set of items is called Option A. None. Option B. Class limits. Option C. Class. Option D. Magnitude of a class interval. The correct answer is. Option C. Class. The range of values of a given class is called a class interval. The boundaries of an interval are called class limits. And the middle of a class interval is called the class mark. Question number 12. Difference between upper or lower limits. Option A. Class. Option B. Class interval. Option C. Extreme class. Option D. Class limits. The correct answer is. Option B. Class interval. The range of values of a given class is called a class interval. It is defined as the difference between the upper class limit and the lower class limit. Question number 13. Average value of the upper and lower limits. Option A. Class. Option B. Class limits. Option C. Class interval. Option D. Mid value. The correct answer is. Option D. Mid value. The midpoints of the class interval is obtained by calculating the mean of the lower and the upper limits of the intervals. The midpoints of class intervals of various class group are called mid values. MV equals lower limit plus upper limit. 2. Question number 14. An open end class is the class which lacks. Option A. Both lower limit and higher limit. Option B. Either lower limit or higher limit. Option C. Lower limit. Option D. Higher limit. The correct answer is. Option B. Either lower limit or higher limit. If, in a frequency distribution, the initial class interval is indeterminate at its beginning and or the final class interval is indeterminate at its end, the distribution is said to possess open-ended classes. A class has either no lower class limit or no upper class limit in a frequency table is called an open-end class. 
Question number 15. Following are the types of frequency distribution except Option A. Cumulative frequency. Option B. Exclusive. Option C. Open ended. Option D. Frequency array. The correct answer is Option D. Frequency array. The repetition of number is a data set is termed as frequency of that particular number or the variable in which that number is assigned. The frequencies of variables in a data are to be listed in a table. This table is known as frequency distribution table and the list is referred as frequency distribution. There are many types of frequency distributions. Grouped frequency distribution. Ungrouped frequency distribution. Cumulative frequency distribution, relative frequency distribution, relative cumulative frequency distribution. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.